Hey, what's up? It's James from Strictly Business, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own link shortening website similar to TinyURL or Bitly. And let me check my text real quick. Okay. Hold on. Alright. So, all you're going to need for this is basically a Gmail. Everything else will pick up along the way. So, I'm going to go ahead and log into my Gmail really quick. I hope that's right. Um, Alright, I just made this just for this, so nothing's been done with it yet. You're also going to need uh, URLs. It's your own URL shortener. Very cool. Um, actually, yeah. So download this here, 1.5 zip. This is an old project, as you can tell, November 7th, 2010. But it works, so. Alright. Next, you're going to need a oohwebhost.com. It's oohwebhost because that's how much it costs. Zero dollars and zero cents. I'm going to click order now. Um, right here, you're also going to need a domain. So let's go to dot .tk where you can pick up a domain. Alright. Log in. Uh, since you're signed into your Gmail or whatever account you're using, you can probably just click one of these. And I'm going to use Google to sign in to .tk. Basically, .tk is a free domain. It's a top-level country domain. Uh, it's for an island called Takalu, something along those lines. Basically, it's a free domain. And it's not like a subdomain. It's not like your website dot, dot, dot .tk, you know, or .co.cc. It's a top-level domain, so... It's basically the same as .com, except it's a country instead of .com. Alright, go to my domains. Add a domain. Well, let's think of something. sbgtut.tk. Add new domain. Alright, it's available. Free domain. Next. Uh, for now, just put, like, strictlybusiness.tk. I'm going to do 12 months. TKPXJ. Y-W. I hate captures. I always get really stupid ones, but these are easy. Alright, wait for that to load. Alright. Domain panel. Okay, what was it? SBG Tut. SBG Tut dot TK. My name. James. Email. BG Tutorial at Gmail. Password. Oh, you know, it's, uh, no, I'm not going to tell you. T-T-I-R-T-H. Object. I agree. Alright. Waiting for email confirmation. No problem. Confirm. Okay, building. Close that then here refresh status it takes a while because it's my first account so all right go to the cpanel first thing you want to do is view account details right there an a dns record to this ip address you go ahead and do that there click that go here modify dot tk dns service your ip address host name first you're going to do www uh, your URL, and then you're going to want to do, what, okay, I don't know what just happened there, www.sbgtut.tk, and then I'm going to add a new, okay, there we go, and then you're also just going to want to do sbgtut.tk, and then you're going to want that IP address, and then you're going to save changes, all right, settings updated successfully, Okay, so we downloaded this, that's good, alright, refresh this, or actually no, uh, control panel, you can see here your domain is not yet pointing to the name service, ignore that, but that will go away once your URL updates, for now you're just going to get a blank page if you try going to it, 
um, it actually tried to redirect to Strictly Business Gaming because that's what we first set it up as, but now we have to wait for our name servers to reload and all that stuff, so that's going to be a few minutes. Let's see if we can start here. Wait, wait, so file manager, go ahead and log into that. I don't, what's the password? Okay, public HTML. This is basically your directory. Like, that's going to show up, that default.php. That's going to, what's going to show up on your um, sbgtut.tk. Gtut.tk. Everything's set up now, so you don't have to worry. So eventually we'll be able to refresh this, and it will show the default.php which basically just shows you the index of your site. No big deal. Um, what you're going to want to do is open that up. Okay, so see here, this is your directory for your website that's basically going to be there when you're done. So let's go ahead and load that. You're going to want to do an upload. You're going to do an archive. It's going to be a .zip. You're going to want to go to your downloads. There it is. All right. Click that. It'll upload, and it will extract the items to your public HTML which, like I said, is your um, top-level directory, even though there are, is other stuff in the FTP. Warning, can I sign? Okay, so it's not going to work yet because... Um, okay, those are file system includes. Um, yeah, don't worry about those. Those are fine, as long as you get all that. Okay, let's check that. It's still nothing. Okay. So the website's still not upright. But we can still go ahead and make the uh, MySQL database uh, to get to this. Let's go back here to the main deal. All right, so you come down here to where it says MySQL. You click there, and we're here. All right, database name. Uh, just put ls, ls, password. Um, it doesn't have to be, uh, actually it does have to be long, or not long, but you know, a standard password. Okay. And then you click this and it gives you all the information for it. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your includes folder. There's going to be this config sample.php. You're going to want to edit that. Actually, go back first. Before you do that, you're going to want to rename it to just config.php. So go ahead and get rid of the dash sample. All right, now that you've got that, you can go ahead and edit it. The thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your uh, database username, which is this right here. It's also the same for your um, database name, too, if you did it like I did. Oh, the password. Uh, my password just happens to be blur. The database name and the host, which is their server. This one is on MySQL 14.000webhost.com. Okay, and then just leave the prefix the same. Alright, you're going to want to change this here. Uh, sbgtut.tk um, I am in central time so that would be GMT minus 6 um, go ahead and set this to false just to make it easier along the way private you probably want that as true um, let's see what else here username password um, just do do because you're only going to want your one, so I would change this one to admin. I'm just going to leave it as password for the thing of this. Um, you're going to want to change this to 62. It gives you a variety of more um, URLs. And then these are bad words that people shouldn't be picking, and it just does that. And I can't remember quite what it said, but I was reading somewhere that there's like, it's like a 250 some digit number, I think. And that's how many URLs you can have with this. So, it's whatever. Um, 
All right, that's all you're gonna need for that. Let's see if the URL updated. Okay, the URL still hasn't updated. But our config is good. We got that. All we need is for the website to update so we can start actually using the editor. All right, I'm back. I had some problems with my headset interfering with the uh, internet receiver. Okay, so here we are. Like I said, here's that default.php page right there. Now that we're up, you can go ahead and go up a directory, delete that default.php. You ain't going to need that. Go. Yep. Okay. Then navigate to the admin section. And it will go to install.php. And if this picture is here, that means that you did the um, database connections right. Otherwise, that won't be there, I think, is how that works. Okay, it successfully accessed the uh, uh, database, and it's ready to go. The administration page. You have to log in. Here's the admin page. Um, these are domains that come uh, with it from the developer of the application. All right, so now that we've got that, we can go ahead and uh, do this. Basically, you're all set up. I, here, I'll go ahead and show you. Google.com, uh, custom short URL. Uh, Goog, shorten this URL. Okay, now we have... Um, Copy sbgtut.tk slash goog. Paste that in. Boom, we get google.com. Pretty cool stuff here. All right, now what we do is we can go to the file manager. Back to my SQL. All right, we can go to the file manager. Go to public HTML. Simple public front page .php .txt. Go ahead and rename that to index.php. When you have a web server like this, uh, Apache or whatever the web server happens to be, automatically looks for a few things. It looks for uh, a file called index, and it makes that your home page automatically. So index.php, index.html, it will automatically make that the default page. So uh, now, whenever you go to sbgtut.tk, you get this public page, which is that actually that um, index.php, but it doesn't say that because it automatically finds it, so it's just sbgtut.tk, and then we can access the whole deal from here, Google, and then we'll just do Google. And it starts off with one, and then it'll get bigger. If we do another one, it'll be two. But um, basically, you're all set up with your URL shortener. In the next video, I will show you how to customize this front page to look um, to have your own little look to it. This is the one I did for a friend, quickshot.tk. Basically, you take what's already there and we edit it, but I can show you how to do complete different stuff, whatever, but this is we That's it for this video. Go ahead and click on the next video, which I'm sure I will put in here somehow. And we can go on to customization.